Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being a part of this family. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I love you all so much. And if this is your first time, oh, I already love you so much. Or please do subscribe and click that notification bell so that every time a new content is uploaded, you will be notified. God bless you. I have a word to share with you. Your kingdom spouse just found the treasure he has been looking for in you. Guess what he wants to do? This word is coming to you from the book of Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. I'm reading from the Message Bible. It says, God's kingdom is like a treasure hidden in, the, in a field for years and then accidentally found by a trespasser. Oh, this word got me interested. Trespasser. Meaning it was not he. The, the, the person that finds it was not coming there to stay. They were just passing through the field. The finder is ecstatic. What a find. And proceeds to sell everything he owns to, to raise money and buy that field. What's the pro that was the word again? Your kingdom spouse just found the treasure he has been looking for in you. Guess what he wants to do? And this word makes me to understand. This word is, in other words, it's talking to me. When I read this, I see marriage. I see a marriage scenario. And then God makes me to understand that this man who found this treasure in you, they were not coming to you to find trade. They were no, no. They, they were just coming to. They were just passing by. It was just another relationship to them. It was just another lady they met. It was just another guy they met. It was just another relationship. And then the moment they got to know you, the moment they passed by you, they they, they discovered a treasure. They discovered a treasure in you that they never thought was there, that they never saw was there. And guess what they 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 about to do? They when they discovered the treasure, they hid it. They hid it. They, 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 they became so possessive of this treasure. They hid it. They 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 made. They, they took the, the, the treasure out of the sight of every other person. They kept it in a place where others will not have access to it. Where, where no other person will see it. Where no other man will see it. From the time he discovered this treasure in you, he started treating you like you were his personal, personal prized possession. Started being jealous and possessive. Not in a bad way though. But guess what he's doing? He decided if it means him selling all that he has, come back and buy the field. And then you know what God told me? To take note of the fact that he didn't come to buy just the treasure. He came to buy the whole field. He came not for the treasure, but for the whole field. So this is the deal. That, that, that husband, that wife, your kingdom wife or your kingdom husband, yes, there is treasure in them, but they are not all treasure. The whole field is not made up of treasure, but the field has some treasure in it. So guess what you, you buy? The treasure. But guess what you received? What you paid for? The field. The field has grass. The field has soil. The field has dirt. The field, the field has unwanted things are on the field. But despite every other thing that is on the field that is most likely unwanted, not most likely what you didn't pay for, the treasure is also there. So you don't treat the field anyhow because you saw grass, because you saw weeds there, because you saw things that you didn't want, because you saw some dirt. No. You treat the, 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 the field. You bought the field at a high price and you treat it so jealously because there is treasure in it. The worth of the field is not in the dead. The worth of the field is not in the grass, in the things that were not planted. The worth of the field is in the treasure. So you don't care about every other thing. You don't evaluate the field based on 
every other thing that is unwanted that is there no you evaluate the field based on the treasure so you are not paying for the grass you are not paying for the for for the dirt you are not paying for the soil you are paying for the treasure why is god telling us that so that tomorrow when you turn and look at the field and you feel like the grass is growing so much and oh you know why what you you need to do if you need to pay someone to clear the grass you are going to do it because the problem is not the grass the thing is your treasure is in that field so you can't afford to lose it so you would rather deal with the grass than to lose the field and you will not sell the field because of the treasure that is there so you will you will rather invest more money to, to clear the grass, invest more money for the field to be cleaned, than for you to lose the field. Than for you to lose the field. Because that field has the treasure that you have been looking for in life. That field has everything that you have been looking for in life. That field is your kingdom spouse. Despite the fact that they have weaknesses, Despite the fact that they have struggles, it doesn't cancel the fact that they have treasures in the inside of them. So why, why, why should you focus on the weaknesses, whereas there are treasures? What makes you marry them in the first place? Or what will make you marry them? Why you are selling everything you have just to go get them? It's because you found a treasure in them. And that's what you should focus your gaze on. Not on the grass, not on the weaknesses, not on any other thing, but on the treasure. When they get you angry, remember the treasure. No matter the circumstance, remind yourself of the treasure that you found in them in the first place. And you will value them forever. And you will have a successful marriage despite the weaknesses despite the challenges your marriage will be successful hallelujah god bless you shalom